Hello everyone. Today we are talking about a video lesson which is a from a chapter called electric charges and fields. Here I would like to talk about a kind of a scenario that what happens if you apply a electric field to a charged particle. The first thing that we need to know is if the charge is a positive charge, if you apply a electric field like this, this will experience a force now. How much force that it is going to experience is nothing but equal to basing on the definition of electric field intensity E is nothing but force per unit positive charge that implies F is nothing but equal to E Q. This positive charge experiences the force along the direction of the field itself. If suppose this is a negative charge if you have applied an electric field like this, it will experience the force in the opposite direction. F is nothing but equal to E Q, say magnitude but in the opposite direction. So, that is a sign convention that we need to follow that a positive charge experiences the force along the direction of the field and a negative charge experiences the force against the direction of the field where that E is called electric field intensity or electric field strength. It is simply the force experienced by a unit positive charge when it is placed in a electric field. Now, let us consider a scenario that we are applying, let us consider a scenario like that a charged particle. This charged particle is moving in the horizontal direction with a initial velocity u. This charged particle is having a certain mass and it is also having a charge q. Say we have started applying an electric field like this. Now, because we have started applying electric field, the body will get a force. In which direction? Because the positive charge will experience the force along the direction of the field F equal to E Q S per the definition. Of course, we are ignoring the gravity assuming that the gravitational force is a quite small force. Now, how does the velocity changes along the x direction V x if I have to calculate? I will write a formula U x plus A x into T. U x is U, but there is no acceleration along x axis because the force is acting in one y axis. So, velocity along the x direction remains the same. Say for example, if I want to calculate final velocity along y axis, I will write u y plus a y into t. There is no initial velocity along y direction, but there is some acceleration along y axis because there is a force. I can equate that force to m a as per the definition it is nothing but e q. So, A is nothing but equal to E q by m and this acceleration acts along y axis. So, I can write in the place of A y E q by m and t that is the final velocity. Once if I know final velocity, I can even say the final uh, velocity together V bar is nothing but V x i cap and V y j cap that is u i cap plus what is the value of the v y is nothing but u q by m into t and j cap. We can find not only the velocities, we can also find say for example, like a kinetic energy after some time, we have a formula half m v square. So, I can write kinetic energy along y axis is half m v along the y axis is e q by m and t whole square. I can also calculate displacement using a formula s equal to u t plus half a t square. Displacement along x axis is x, velocity along the x axis is u there is no acceleration along x axis. From this if it is required, I can write T is nothing but equal to 
x by u. I can also write displacement along y axis using a formula u y into t plus half a y into t square. Of course, u y is 0, a y is a q by m and t square. I can substitute the value of that t from the initial displacement and that value will become a q by m t is x by u now. So, x square by u square. It is very clear half is a constant, electric applied field is constant, charge is constant, mass is constant, given initial velocity is constant. I can write therefore, y equal to all constant into x square. y equal to k x square is a mathematical representation of parabola. That means, this charged particle is going to take a path of parabola, it is not going to move further along a straight line rather it is a positive charge now it takes a turn like this. Thus, an electric field when it is applied perpendicular to the motion of the particle, it is going to experience a parabolic path. We can calculate its final velocities, we can calculate its final momentums and so on. Right? Thank you for stopping by, we will be continuing and meeting again with the further possible videos.